Deputy Gilmour. Um, Count Corla, um, later today the government will uh, put through the House the second stage of the NAMA bill. This will be the most expensive uh, piece of legislation ever to pass through Doyle Aaron, whereby the state will be expected to put up 54,000 million euro uh, to take bad loans uh, off the banks. And even in a best case scenario, uh, it will mean that the taxpayer uh, is putting up a premium of about 7,000 million euro uh, for these bad loans. Now, meanwhile, there are tens of thousands of householders who are facing the prospect of having their homes repossessed by the same banks uh, who will benefit from this arrangement. The ESRI, in a report last week, estimates that by the end of next year, there will be 35,000 households who will not be in a position to repay their mortgages. It is well known that the banks are just waiting for the NAMA legislation to go through uh, before they open up in a very serious way uh, to seek repossessions of homes uh, from people who are, uh, who are in serious trouble. One of, the biggest, one of the biggest problems that I hear from Labour Party public representatives all over the country uh, is the difficulties that they have in repaying their mortgages and the fears that they have about losing their home. The biggest fear that people have at the moment is the fear of losing their home. Now, Taoiseach, I want to put to you a suggestion which I would ask you to, to take up before the NAMA legislation is enacted. Deputy Joan Burton will be proposing an amendment to that legislation when it goes before committee that there should be a moratorium on home repossessions for a period of time. I believe that this is perfectly reasonable. The people who are having difficulty today in repaying their mortgages are people who had good jobs a year, two years ago, certainly at the time when they took out the mortgage, and hopefully they will have good jobs again when we come through the economic difficulty. The problem is that for a period of time, uh, while the economic recession lasts, uh, while there is an employment downturn, while business is difficult, many of these people will have difficulty repaying their mortgages. And instead of having their homes repossessed, an arrangement should be made whereby these people can continue to retain their home, stay living in their home. Uh, there are all kinds of arrangements that can be made uh, through the banks uh, which uh, would allow that to happen. It would make more sense from an economic point of view because ultimately the state will have to pick up the tab if people are repossessed and secondly from a social and from a family point of view if people are allowed to stay in their own homes. So Taoiseach I want an assurance from you today. I know you will probably tell me there are codes of practice. All the codes of practice are doing is buying time for people. It's just postponing the evil day. There needs to be an assurance given to people who are worried today that they, are, that they may lose their home, that there will be a moratorium on home repossessions and I'm asking you to have that done before the NAMA legislation is finally enacted. Gilmer. I think there are two requirements that have to be met here uh, at Count Corla and the approach that the Taoiseach uh, is taking I don't think meets either of the requirements. Um, I have been talking about the necessity for a moratorium on home repossessions now for, for some time and I know that the Taoiseach has responded here on a number of occasions saying that uh, the banks are being spoken to and that codes of practice are being introduced and that all kinds of uh, approaches are being recommended to the banks. The first problem with that is that that is being left to the goodwill and the generosity of the banks. And whatever disposition the banks may have now to be generous and to respond to the invocations of the government to uh, deal uh, sympathetically with mortgage holders. As soon as the NAMA legislation is passed, as soon as they've got their money, as soon as they've got the bad loans taken off their, off their banks, they have a free hand. The banks are then free to do as they, as they please. And unless you put it into the legislation and put a requirement 
that there be a moratorium on repossessions. And I'm not talking about people who are defaulting on their loans uh, through their own fault. Uh, of course, people who have the wherewithal to repay a mortgage uh, and are simply just being negligent in doing so. I'm not talking about those people at all. I'm talking about the people who are stuck because they've either lost their job or the business has gone uh, bad for them or their circumstances have changed and who need a break, just as the banks are looking for a break from the government. Mortgage holders, householders need a break as well. And unless that is done, before NAMA legislation is passed, you are going to tee up a situation where the banks will be free to go after householders with a free hand, and the world and its mother knows that that's what they're planning to do. And the ESRI estimates that there's about 35, ESRI estimates that there's about 35,000 householders in the country who are in their sights. The second thing that needs to be done is that you need to take the fear of the loss of home out of the psyche of, the, of the, the country at the moment. You're heading into social partnership talks, and I see that you've invited in the trade unions and employers for, for further discussions. I would suggest to you that the first thing that you need to put up on the table before you commence social partnership talks about all of the things that have to be talked about is to say to people that there will be a guarantee that people are not going to lose their homes, that people who have already had to endure loss of their job, loss of their business, are not going to find themselves in a situation that they're going to have to uproot out of the neighbourhood, leave the home that they have been living in, take their children out of the, the local school or whatever, that they will at least have that peace of mind and that the issue of the repayment of the mortgage, uh, the rescheduling of it, all of the different options that you have outlined with which I agree that they're bedded down and that they're made part of a moratorium that can be uh, enforced for the period of time that we're going through the, the difficulties.